So I recently re-reviewed Google's Pixel 3 XL smartphone, a good if not quite great handset that feels like a missed opportunity in many regards. All the same, I'm staying cautiously optimistic about the upcoming Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL, despite the fact that pretty much all of Google's recent hardware has been less than stellar, from the home hub to the Pixel Buds. Maybe I'm just a dreamer, or maybe I've been quaffing too much of the happy juice. That's for you to decide. So what are the latest leaks and rumors surrounding the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4 XL, and what does Google have to do to make them essential handsets? Well, here's everything we think we know so far, and don't forget for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So recently, a leaked design of the Pixel 4 XL appeared on the website Slash Leaks. And while I'm approaching this with a huge pinch of that salty stuff, it's not so outlandish that it's probably a fake. This drawing shows some likely evolutions and upgrades while retaining that general pixel design language. This has since been converted into some slick look and renders by phone designer, giving us a taste of what Google may deliver later this year if it doesn't absolutely shit its pants. You'll notice straight off that the outlandishly enormous notch from the third generation handsets has been replaced with a punch hole dual selfie cam instead, similar to Samsung's Galaxy S10 Plus. Frankly, anything is better than this oversized nubbin here, so I'll be more than happy with that. And I won't be surprised if Google stuck with that double lens setup from the previous generation. Around back, we appear to have a dual lens rear camera as well, a first for the Pixel handsets, which up to now have sported just a single snapper. Google's impressive algorithms mean you generally get some pretty good portrait results, despite that lack of a secondary depth sensor, though it can't quite match the best out there, such as Huawei's flagships. But if the Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL do serve up a secondary shooter, it'll probably be an ultra wide angle lens or a telephoto lens, something which has become really popular and the likes of Samsung and Sony are fully jumping on board with. Strangely, however, in these designs, the rear and the front camera seem to be positioned in the exact same corner, overlapping each other. Of course, from this 2D sketch, we can't quite tell if the lenses are flush with the surface, but I certainly would not expect them to jut far out from the phone, which makes this positioning seem rather unlikely, as it doesn't leave much room for the camera internals, even if the sensors are pushed off to the side. And that's the main reason I'm not entirely convinced by these designs as lovely as they are. All the same, I am expecting many elements to be on the money, including a glorious return for that two-tier design now a signature of the Pixel range, albeit hopefully with some slight refinements. A greater mix of colours would definitely be appreciated to jazz up the overall look, especially with some more vibrant hues. After all, the Pixel 3 phones came in a rather boring selection of colours, just white, black, and a sort of a whitey pink, like somebody had accidentally chucked the white phone in the wash with a pair of red frilly knickers. You'll also notice that there's no rear fingerprint sensor in the drones, and I reckon that'll be accurate too. Chances are instead it'll be replaced with an ultrasonic scanner built into the Pixel 4's display, just like on the Galaxy S10. This is a 3D sensor which can accurately map out your finger's ridges and function even when your hands are greasy or moist, and it won't be fooled by 2D images. Definitely a worthy upgrade. Now, if the Pixel 4 phones come packing Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset, then they'll already have full support for that kind of sensor. And as the Pixels of past have gone with the flagship Snapdragon time after time, we doubt this will change in 2019. As usual, of course, you can expect slick performance and impressive power efficiency as well. It's just a shame that Google always chooses to launch its flagship phones just a month or so before Qualcomm reveals its latest premium platform. That means that after just a couple of months, the Pixel phones already feel a little bit dated compared with rivals, which are packing the new Snapdragon chipset. As for what else I'd like to see, well, Google, if you are going to do exclusive Pixel features such as the excellent call screen and found on the Pixel 3 handsets, please, please, please actually bring them to the UK this time. Haven't we suffered enough from all this Brexit bollocks without you denying us these great features? Come on, man, throw us a bone. And of course, as 5G will be well and truly rolling out across countries such as the UK and the US come the end of 2019, we'd be highly surprised if the new Pixel phones didn't come with a bit of 5G support as well, courtesy of Qualcomm's X50 modem. And last up, that leaked sketch also seems to show a stereo front-facing speaker setup, which I'd be well on board with, as it is pretty rare to find these days. So when are the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4 XL actually come in? Well, you can expect Google to stick to its usual smartphone schedule, which means that the phone should both be launched and released in October 2019. And you can also expect the fully fledged version of Android Q to be rolled out to all existing Pixel handsets around the same sort of time as well. So all of the Pixel phones will be on the same software. And that right there is what we think of the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4 XL ahead of their launch later this year. What do you reckon? What are your most essential features that these phones need to pack for you to consider a purchase? And if you're using the Pixel 3s, or are you still enjoying them? Definitely let us know down in the comments below. And don't forget to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech. Cheers, everyone. Love you.